Jebediah Kerman is once again back in the driving seat. We'll activate SAS. Prepare the throttle. Let's see if this thing can take off. Yes! And would you believe it, with a satellite stock on it, it's not really that wobbly, is it? You know, I was expecting it to be much worse than it is right now. I mean, look at this. This is perfectly passable. Albeit it's spinning ridiculously, but, you know, what can you do? What can you do? It's spinning a lot, actually. It's spinning a lot. Um, will you stop spinning, please? No, it it's doesn't want to stop spinning. This is going to cause some issues. Um, I'm going to try and... TS, T SAS, SAS, activate, oh dear word, look at it, it's spinning like a top. Would you believe, Jebediah, survived? I think it's time to decouple this. Bye bye, topple top mini, you did well. Look at all that debris, folks. Look at it all. Unparalleled failure, this one was. Well, if there's something to be learned from this, I need a stage in between here to decouple. And, um, yeah. Let's check to see if the parachutes work. <laughs> Look at all this debris that's just going to fly everywhere. Oh well. Time to check the parachutes out. The answer is... The parachutes work perfectly. So if anything... We're okay. Boom! Jebediah has lived! That was a close call, Jeb. So, since he survived, we'll end the flight. And go back to the vehicle assembly station, because that... That did not work. Not going to lie here. That just didn't work, did it? Um... There were some issues. That needs to be dealt with. So, we'll just move this ladder slightly. This one a little further up. And... Hmm. What one's that one? Personally, I think if I just accelerate slower, I'll probably be alright. A bit slower acceleration, maybe. Hopefully this thing won't crash once I've uh, loaded in like that. No, it doesn't look like it's going to. Yeah, there we go. Bit slower, maybe, on the up. Like this, maybe. Oh! Oh! I've not stuck space tape around the bottom part. I'm being a nincompoop. No wonder it's spun wildly out of control. I've not put space tape here. There we go! Much better! Ah! And I thought my design was completely and utterly flawed! Clearly some small little metal pylons is all I require! Bingo! Now it's fine! Come on, Jeb! We're gonna get you to the mun. Okay, it's wobbling slightly, but who cares? Now! It's gonna be absolutely fine and it's not gonna spin! Because I've stuck space tape on. And so the gravitational forces aren't trying to rip the darn thing apart. Look! No spin at all! An amazing success! Okay, very slight spin. But very slight spin is much better than wildly out of control spin. Or tail spin. Well, that was a pretty good television show. Come on! It 
spinning very slightly. We, I can deal with slight spin. Uh, when we get to about 8,000. Deactivate this here yes, and make a turn. Kukoskia! Randomly clutching rocket science! Hopefully burning up out of the atmosphere is not going to cause me any significant issues. Like things dropping off. That would suck. Come on! We can get out! See, it's fine. And! Blast off! Yes, we're spinning now. However, if I deactivate and reactivate SAS, it will stop spinning. As much, anyway. So, 110,000, and boom! There we go! We have most of this uh, fuel here. So, let's fast forward until we have about two minutes to go. Which is here. And we shall... use a tiny bit of thrust so that we can turn. The most efficient way for us to do this is to get to that 90 degrees mark there. Which is what I'm going to do. See, we've managed to get a satellite and a, uh, a topple top mini there. So, that's where the SAS here. And we start thrusting wildly. You can see our orbit is widening in both directions. That is the efficient way to do it. I do know something about this game. Not much, but what I know is that I now must extract these solar panels. Because if I don't, we could run out of power. And I really don't want to run out of power. Look at that! It's like I know what I'm doing! That orbit is widening ridiculously. And both ways, too. And it's pretty flat as well. Would you believe it? There's the topple the Kiko topple top there. We nearly have an orbit. In fact, we have an orbit. In fact, we're just we're gonna keep thrusting. Why? Because we gotta! Well, actually, no, because. This is all spare fuel anyway, and we can use it to get a significant amount of the way there. 11.4 million. Periapsis and apoapsis there of 2 million. We still have some fuel left in this thing. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Whoa, 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 whoa. Look at that. Okay, it eventually rockets us completely out of, of the planet, but, uh, hey, let's, uh, let's get rid of this step here. Don't need it anymore. End the flight. And since I know it crashes out when I'm trying to go back to a, a flight in progress, uh, oh, I entered the vehicle assembly part by mistake. So... I'll be back once I'm back with our main ship. I'm back, folks. I took the liberty, liberty of deleting the uh, other topple top that's on the uh, the Mun surface, because um, we're not going to be using that again. We're going to be using this one. The one that's actually going to be by the lander. So, we have, an, we have a sort of interception orbit with the Mun, which is not good enough. Normally it would be if I'm trying to land, but I have this satellite I want to launch. So, what we want to do is I actually want to decay this orbit slightly, because we had a better MUN approach when we decayed it a little. Like... There. That's better. That's better. So, let's fast forward until we get to the point where we intercept the MUN. Let's not go too fast, so that silly things don't happen, like me uh, completely losing the orbit altogether. That would suck. So, we get pretty close to the moon. We get very close. 
let's see what we're left with when we get to the uh, the mun encounter. T minus five Kerbal minutes. They're like Microsoft minutes, only not as bad. The answer is. Oh wow, that's um. That's something. Um. That is indeed something. We're we're gonna have to be. We have to be careful here, because on the one hand, we want to get to the moon, but on the other hand, we also want to not crash on the moon. So what I want to do is make an orbit first, and that should not be too hard, but on the other hand, we now do not actually have a... We don't actually have a proper orbit anymore. We're going to crash land. Oh well. It's not quite what I wanted to have happen, though. Let's make an orbit first. Technically. Let's find out what kind of orbit we've got and see if I can do anything about it. But we're not going to escape the moon anymore. We're not going to escape and go back to a curve in orbit, or any kind of orbit now. Because we have now captured the moon, and not in the way I wanted to. Which is pretty bad. Yeah, that's not good. Come on, please join up. There. Now, if I thrust away will I get an app will I get a periapsis I really hope so like if I thrust this way will I get a periapsis well, or will I just undo exactly what I just did and yeah I will I will undo exactly what I just did so we have an issue here but I have plenty of fuel in which to try and sort it I need a periapsis. I need a particularly good one too. I'd rather not hit the uh, I'd rather not hit the moon, you know. I'd rather not hit it. There must be a way for me to do this though. Like if I keep pro burning, I should be able to make a look at that little like orange line there saying, "Hey, you're going to eventually escape." I would like... That. Okay. We could deal with that. Alright. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait. And when we get to 50 odd thousand, you know, like, when we get to about 5 minutes, or here, I'm going to start retro burning. Now, this time, I thought to myself, oh, I could just make an orbit, but here, I can actually make an orbit. Here I can. Before, in the other part, I couldn't, because we were, we were pretty much just on a collision course with the moon. But here, we're not. In fact, here, we are on a mun escape, and then an absolutely blooming massive orbit of Kerbin. But not here. Here... We aren't, and I can make an orbit here. I just need to burn some fuel in the process. I have absolutely loads of fuel, so there is no harm in me doing this. And... Boom! We now have an orbit. A pretty stable one, too. So from this screen, you get to here. And we start retro burning again because we don't want the periap the apoapsis at two million meters. I want it much closer than that. Am 
much closer. Okay. Burn, burn, burn the nuclear fuel. We have absolutely tons of it, though. So it's all good. Uh, 250,000. This is when this will start shrinking as well. That's why I gave myself some big wiggle room here. If you get to, I think, below 17,000 meters, you start to fall. So, let's stop it about when this gets to about 30, shall we? Like that. In fact, let's straighten this orbit out, actually. Can I do that? No, not really. I'm gonna wait. Maybe I can. There we go. Straighten the orbit out some. In 40 seconds, I need to do a 7 second burn. Just straightening out the orbit with the added manoeuvres. Because if this thing is going to be a... Uh, if this thing is going to be a satellite of some variety, I'd rather have it be a proper one. You know. So, let's mark ourselves on the, on the blue cross. Oy, what effort just to get to the moon, eh? But it'll be worth it when we get there. SES on. Go to here. And when it gets to zero, we start burning. Like this. Five seconds, it says. And then the orbit will be corrected. See, it's already going up. It's already going up. Look at that. bit of burning hurt no one. In fact, I feel like doing it a bit more. Go! That's fine. Thank you. So, we nearly have an orbit. Which is all fine. I'd like to make the orbit a little bigger. I think 50,000 is not a bad... Uh, Maybe 40. Maybe 40 odd thousands, probably better. So, I'll extend the. Eight, 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 stop, 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 stop. We want to get pretty much bang on here because I've just tried to correct the orbit. So, widen this slightly to about 43. And then, go to the other side. And shrink this down slightly. In fact, it's even got the retro burn right there for me. So, 46. Oh! Oh, forty-one and forty-three seems fine. Excellent. So now, what we're going to do is we're going to wait till we're on the light side of the moon. This is important. We need to be on the light side of the moon for this, otherwise we are in some bother if we launch this satellite off. Where is the light side there? Okay. It's light enough. Okay. So. I want to face about here. And decouple. Boom. There we go. Now, we have a satellite. We're going to extend all of the solar panels. And toggle the communications array. Right? 